Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm sharing with you my newest subscription box, Garden Tea Party. You get all these goodies, and I'm going to go through everything. First, right off the bat, you get, I think it's 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 chipboard pieces that I feel go along with the kits who get Garden Tea Party, Enjoy, tea for two, a mug with steam coming off, an old tea kettle, a teapot, you get some flowers as well as a row of teacups and a little tea bag. And this is all chipboard pieces. Next you get a bunch of lace and fibers and fabric. So you get a yard of some ribbon. This is a gold edge ivory ribbon. You get almost, let's see, was it half a yard of a white double-edged lace that has even the corsage pin. A, I think it's three quarters of a yard of a purple lace. And you get 44 inches wide by one inch of some fabric. This is pretty pink fabric. So it's already cut into a strip so you can use it. You get lots of fibers. So here are four of the fibers, and these are one to two yard pieces, depending on how much I had of each one. Here are some more. So this is kind of a little sparkly purple, a pretty pink, and a turquoise. You also get some white sequin trim, kind of iridescent, rainbow colored, and you get a small snippet of these little rosettes. And you could cut these apart or you can use it as the whole piece. You get a bottle of, my little labels messed up, a little bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that I feel matches the kit. You get a row of tickets. I decided this time to include some little tea bags. Now these are synthetic. So when you dye or spray these, you do not want to use your heat tool to dry them. Let them air dry. It does take longer. Otherwise, if you try to use your heat tool, it will melt these. <laughs> but I thought they would be kind of clever because you could add a little spice or you could add some actual tea to give your journal a flavor. You get a couple of these little paper bags that you can put basically artist trading card size two and a half by three and a half inch pieces. You get a couple of doilies. You get some standard, I think this is considered an A2 envelope with the little square backs that you can decorate. We'll go over this in a moment. You get some tickets. So there's like six tickets that you can decorate and embellish. And I've been showing ideas on my live stream. So I definitely hope that you will check those out. And then here's some little envelopes. Now they may be sealed shut. That's part of the junk. So you can cut these open and use those in your journals. And then you get a variety of little papers. So you get some, uh, what do I call this? Craft colored cardstock and you get some square and rectangle you get some square and kind of a watercolor and then some white paper a couple of pieces of black some more craft and I'm almost out of these I'm still trying to use them up I have some more of this purple textured paper hey and if you don't like the texture on this side the glossy side turn it over and use the other side so it gives you a whole other look remember there are two sides to paper then you've got a set of six, two of each style of these little file folders. So you can fold them up and use those in your journals. I have included a, what is this, kind of like a layaway or ticket that you can put. And then this is a U.S. savings bond envelope. So it hasn't been sealed, so you can use that. You get a couple more of, I think these are kind of like five by five, five by four, something like that. Five by almost six inches. I have a bunch of these popcorn bags. Now, while they may not be a match for the kit, you could add your own touches to the front of those. This is a folded card that you can use. You also get a full size handkerchief or ladies uh, handkerchief. Each one's going to be different. So there's random prints that I have found. You get this beautiful napkin that you can use. 
And then when we get into these papers, these are just some random leftover papers. I picked up a bunch of stuff a long time ago from Canvas Corp brands and I'm still going through those. So these will be random cardstock pieces. You'll get a piece of this damask tissue paper. So you can use that to alter items. And then you get a variety of book pages. So I found some dictionaries, some gardening books. Some of them may have color photos in them, a little bit about planting. So I just was trying to get a variety. I like this one. Just so happens the one I picked up had planting diagrams and these look like for lilies. So you can inspect them and it says and what you can use for different kind of gardening items. You get a couple of sheets of music. I had a really vintage looking song book that we tore apart. Thanks to Beverly of Beeline Design, she kind of helped me tear up book pages. And then you get some more dictionaries and this one looks like it's a Bible and another dictionary page so lots of pages that you can use and this is a large envelope now i've showed ideas of using a large envelope you can fold it in half you can fold it up you can cut it so those are another element we can use this is a large like a five by seven journal card this is eight by eight ledger pa ledger paper that's cardstock weight from canvas corp seven gypsies and then this was some beautiful embroiled it's, it's kind of debossed. It's not embossed. It's debossed. And it's black on the back side, but brown on this side with the gold. You get a few sheets of some colored copy paper. I think there's two sheets of the blue, a pink, and a purple. You get some ivory and some more craft cardstock. And then let's go back to, you get these stencils, and I forgot to put this, but I know I have a piece of paper that goes between them. So this is one of the stencils in the kit. And then you get this half stencil. Oh, it still has hanging chads. I haven't cleaned it completely off yet. Yours will come pretty clean. You may have to pop out a couple of little things because this does have a tiny, tiny, tiny pattern in it. And then the printed portion of the kit, and we'll go over this little baggie of stuff. So let me do the baggie of stuff first. So in the baggie of goodies, you're going to get some paper flowers. I still had a few of those. A couple of spiral paper clips. Some random charms. There'll be different types of charms in here. There is a teapot charm at least. And you may get a, a slice of pie or a cupcake. That was another option on some of the charms. I do have a couple of these little attachments that you can put on as well as like photo corner pieces. And I did include a couple of brads in different sizes. So I think there's like eight different brads and then you get some bulb pins that you can use to attach things I forgot about these charms here you get a couple of word charms and I just added some random postage it may not necessarily go with this theme but you can use them in other areas as well you get some flat back gems as well as some different types of sequins and this time I did a little different sequin this one has a hole in the middle and some of these have holes on the edge so you can use this as a dangle all right so let's get this out of the way just put it back in my little baggie all right and then for the kit the printed portion of it this will be a professionally laser printed portion it will be on cardstock for the cover and the elements 100 pound this is the cover and this is the inside cover and then you will get what is it two three four two-sided pages so here is the first page and here is the back side and the next page and the back side next page and the back side i love these patterns and colors the pattern on the back of this is one of my stencils and it's available in my shop. I think it's Victorian 
screen Victorian, which one is it? It's the Victorian panel. Norella likes to use some of my stencil designs when we make the kits. And the famous word search that Norella does for our kits. And then you got various fussy cuts. You get four sheets of fussy cuts with the subscription box. You can get this subscription box as a physical kit that has all these items. And then you can add on to the kit. So let me show you all the add-on items. So then we have an add-on. So that first portion, that's what you get in the subscription box plus shipping and handling. If at the same time you purchase the add-on items, you do not have to pay additional shipping. It'll all be shipped in the same box. Again, these will be shipped out on August the 15th. If you place an order after August the 15th, between the 15th and the 24th, Fourth, it will not ship until I get back into town because I am going out of town. So she used my stencil design. This is one of the covers. You get two covers. This is the inside cover, another cover, and the other side. And then you get eight two-sided pages. I believe that's right. So here she, she used my stencil design in the background again. And then the next side. And then this side, I love the colors. I gave her a color palette to use. And I said, okay, you can use within this color palette because that was some of the colors that I wanted to use for Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I think she did a beautiful job blending all of these beautiful colors together. And this side, butterflies and birds. I love this pattern that she has here. You can get this as a digital kit. So I do have a digital download where you can get all of the digitals as a set for $24.99. Or you can buy them individually. So here is one of the Fussy Cut pages. And the next Fussy Cut page. And this is the large journal kit. You get six Fussy Cut pages. These were printed on my home HP printer. Again, yours will be printed on a professional laser print. All right, so that was the large journal kit. So let me show you the planner. So here is the cover for the planner. You get one cover. And this is the backside, another one of my stencil designs. And then on the journal pages, I think I've got them backwards. I'm going to flip them over. You get the one month spread and then a page. And then the back side will alternate between this journal page, journal lines. Like here's the next page. And then here's the alternate. Oh, I guess I got them out of order. That's the alternate on the back side. So here's another page. There's a page. There's a page. I don't want to get a paper cut. There's the next page. There's that page. And then you get two fussy cut pages. You get one that are journaling cards with a couple of page flags. And then this one has a library pocket that shows you how to put it together. And then you get some little tabs. So that is the planner kit, another add-on item. I'm trying to make that very clear, add-on item. I will be live on July the 26th showing everyone how to put together the subscription box. And then you can also purchase the mini. Mine has not been cut apart, but if you purchase the printed mini, you will get two covers and four journal pages and two sets of fussy cut elements that you can fussy cut apart, but they will already be cut to size. In the digital version, this is how it will print. So you get two covers at the same time. And then there's the back side. It mimics the large journal kit. We just chose a couple of the pages and elements from the large journal kit. Some of the pages here. If you purchase the digital subscription box, large journal kit, and the planner, you get the mini free. So you can print this yourself. I printed extras because I printed so many of the kits. If you purchase all of the items, 
I am also offering this free digital download. Norella made these pages and I didn't fall madly in love with them, but we decided to go ahead and include them because some of you may enjoy the pages. But I thought these were some pretty papers and I'm glad that Norella went ahead and included those. So if you purchase everything of the garden tea party, then you can get those for free. And then what else do I have here? Oh, yes. So now I want to show you the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is an add-on set that you can get in the kit. I'm going to get a piece of paper. And let's spray each color. So we have this one, which when you first look at it, it almost looks like there's no color to it. But if you shake it up, you got to shake all of these side to side to get that mica up into the liquid. That way your sprayer doesn't clog. Always shake them. And then let's spray this. This is called blush. So it's a pretty pink blush. I'm going to spray this one. And it's called blue bells. So it's a real pretty pale. These are more pastel colors. So these will be great for changing the color of an ivory or white item and this one's called lilac it's a pale pale purple this one i called tea because i thought it looked like tea color this one is called sunny it's a yellow and then this one is called mint because i thought it looked like mint I'll take this out of the box so you can kind of see those colors. So they're beautiful colors that can be added on to your subscription box items. You can also purchase these as a standalone if you didn't want to get the subscription box, but you wanted this really great value, $25.99 for six colors of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mints. I have also created new rubber stamps. I think I've added like 60 rubber stamps in the last couple of weeks. And this is just some of the stamps. So I have some apothecary, and I may not be saying that right, apothecary, apothecary, there you go, apothecary, and then tea related stamps. And I've got things like my cup of happy, I have a teapot and teacup, we have different sayings, and I have a new stamp that I'll be showing you how to use that is a faux tea label, so you can make your own looking little ephemera type stuff. Another thing that you may want to consider is getting involved with the Artistic Stencil Club. This is the August set, and you get three stencil sheets with four stencil patterns. So this is one of the patterns, and here is the next pattern, and then here is the final pattern or page. So all of these are available in my shop at lindaisrael.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick flip through of all the items. If you have any questions, please, again, feel free to ask. Look in the description box below. Come to my live on Monday, July the 26th, where I will show making a journal with the Garden Tea Party subscription box. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.